I have got a fire extinguisher, and if it gets to be a really big fire, I've got two legs and I'm gonna be running. <laughs> but before we get ahead of ourselves, I'm Tyler, this is my husband Todd, and we're building a shipping container home completely off-grid in the middle of the woods. If you're new, this project has been years in the making. Holiday binge, anyone? From design to fabrication, sacrificing a single detail of our dream home is not an option. But to ensure we had a roof over our heads in the meantime, we built this geodesic dome to call home, complete with all the modern amenities for a fraction of the cost. With the coldest days of the year upon us, we need to make some serious strides this week to ensure we have heat. If you end up liking today's video, consider taking a moment to click the subscribe button. It's completely free and we'll let you know when we post new videos. But most importantly, enjoy the video and come along. You ready to do this? That's kind of a weird outfit. Why, what do you mean? Cause it's your birthday, I got you a little spa day. No you did not. Yeah I did, you're getting- I was about to do a twirl. Oh, beautiful twirl. Anyway, you can get changed because you're gonna get a massage and a pedicure and come back all nice and refreshed and I'm gonna take care you're, of things here. No you didn't. I'm not joking. What was the point of just doing all of that B-roll of this getting ready? This was a birthday treat for me. I think you look um, cute in the overalls. Yeah? Yeah. I can't tell if you're being, like, you're actually serious. 100% serious. We're on Charlie, Eddie, and Squirrel's lives. Okay. If you caught last week's video, then you know that we weren't able to get our direct vent heaters fully installed. That's because we hadn't really factored in the corrugation of the shipping containers, which is the beveled part that goes like this. Anyway, we found a welder in the area named Adam who is such a great guy and he came up with a really cool solution that we think is going to work for getting these installed. So anyway, he's just getting here now so I'm going to help him get situated. Th those old containers make it tricky. Oh yeah. I guess because it's not a flat surface to measure on, is it? Yeah, it just everything's, uh, I won't say guess, but. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I just want to cut a little bit and then I want us to go inside and sort of know right away what's going on yep. and then we can relax a little. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So while spray foam insulation technically is inflammable, we're dealing with welding, which can produce up to 10,000 degrees worth of heat, which is actually hotter than the sun, believe it or not. And I guess that all kind of makes sense. It's literally taking metal and turning it into molten. Anyway, my job is to stay in here and just watch the insulation. And if it catches on fire, I have got a fire extinguisher. And if it gets to be a really big fire, I've got two legs and I'm gonna be running. <laughs> The first one is finished and look at this. It looks so good. So the reason that it's a square is because our exhaust pipe fits perfectly into here. So we'll be able to seal up because the corrugation, that was the concern we wouldn't be able to, but this turned out really, really good. And it's like very strong. It's not going anywhere. So what we'll do is in the spring, we're gonna just paint this when we repaint the entire house, one cohesive color. It's gonna be good. All right, so now that the first one is done, it's on to the one upstairs. So what we've got to do, this one, they didn't drill all the way through the container. They did leave us a little mark here of where to put it. So I'm just going to drill through so that when we go to the roof on the outside, we can see where we need to be. So let's get this done because we're actually making some good progress here. I'm really happy with how it's turning out. It looks really good and it's weather tight, which is huge. That was something we were having trouble with with the corrugation, but not anymore. All right, I'm rambling. Let's get this going. So now that the hole's cut, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a drywall saw and cut out the insulation. So we take out this big chunk, 
and then we'll remove about an inch around on all sides on the inside and then that takes away the fire risk from where the metal gets really hot let's get this cut out We don't have full power up and running here and our generator is only 110 volts, but if we had 220 power, which is what we'll have when the full system is up and running, we would have been able to use a wire welder, which would have made this way quicker and a like easier weld job, but he's sticking it out and he's getting the job done. It's just slow going. So again, huge thank you to Adam. Give him some love down in the comments for us because honestly, this is huge. Having this hole means that we'll be able to get the propane company to come back and pop those heaters on and then we'll be able to keep the building warm so that we don't lose all of our heat through the night and we'll be able to be toasty while we're doing construction. I have to look away when he's welding because it could blind me. Yeah, it shouldn't be blowing through like that. Right. Yeah, I see those. There's like five little holes right there. Yeah. It's wild, but you can see like the heat waves in the air. Adam just left and I'm in love with the way this turned out. Now what I'm gonna do to stop like rain and stuff from going in until we can get the propane company here again, is I'm just gonna tape a garbage bag over it. Hopefully it works. I'm sure it would. Why wouldn't it? Let's do it. Taping a garbage bag to my house, to my house. Look at that, beautiful. Hey guys, long time no see. I had the best day ever. It was so relaxing. I can't believe I've went 31 years without having a massage. I can't believe you looked good for 31. Wow, it looks so good. Holy! Yeah, careful, it's sharp. Look how um, thick the steel is though. Oh wow, that is sharp. Yeah. Pretty cool though, it's all done. I mean, it took all day, so didn't know there's two types of welders and because we have no electricity, we wow. can only use this slow one. It's really heavy, heavier yeah. than I thought. Yeah, well, I mean, that's probably why the containers were 12,000 pounds, but <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway, it's all done and it looks really good, so. Thank you for doing this today. No worries, I thank really you for it. sticking it out with me for 13 years. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> do you want to go um, call the propane people and see when we can get oh, them? Oh yeah. Here? Are we good? Like we can... Oh yeah, we're ready. I got garbage bags over the holes and everything. Wow, awesome. Don't worry, oh, that yeah. smoke's not the insulation. Then I got a fire on in the fireplace. I don't know if you can see it up there, but it looks awesome. Yeah. Cool. Okay. <laughs> I'm excited. All right, let's go clean up. Todd is just finishing up with dinner. We've got a fresh glass of wine poured, getting ready to put on a movie. Nothing but the finest home brew for my man on his birthday. <laughs> I was just gonna say, what could be better? But we decided to put on a movie and we're gonna watch the Polar Express. It's, it's just such like a, a near and dear movie to my heart. Like it just reminds me of my family and Christmas. And to watch it, it's not available on Netflix where we are. So I fired up the VPN using Surfshark, the sponsor of today's video. If you've never heard of a virtual private network, it allows you to securely connect to the internet, hiding your true location, your identity, and all of your confidential information that would-be hackers wanna access. There are so many other great reasons to have a virtual private network besides the security functions. Take for example tonight, we're able to sit in the comfort of our own home and access all of the content available around the world, no matter where we are. It's usually frowned upon to bring your own homebrew into movie theaters, so this is perfect <laughs> yeah. for us. This is a way better option for us. I get to enjoy my movie while still feeling nostalgic for my home and not getting to spend my birthday with my family, so. And the best part is, this costs us less than a cup of coffee for the entire month. Enter our promo code Tyler and Todd to get 85% off and three extra months free, and with a 30-day money-back guarantee, there's no no risk in trying it out. Also, vive la France for having this movie on their Netflix, <laughs> yeah. and that's why we're drinking red wine tonight in honor of them. That's the only reason. Shout out to our French <laughs> friends. All right, well, we're gonna go enjoy the rest of my birthday and have a wonderful evening. We'll see you in the morning. Good morning. Some exciting news to start off the day. So we weren't able to get booked in for two weeks to get the direct vent furnaces installed. So we were like, well, we'll go on the cancellation list just in case and they're coming this morning. There was a cancellation, so it really is just all working out. We're gonna do absolutely everything that we can to make sure that these heaters are installed by the end of the day. Keep your fingers crossed for us. Let's do this. You there, won't 
No, it's just this set. Uh, it's the angle that you gotta put the drill on. Tyler, can you tuck that line right up in there for a second? So we're still not in the clear. The framing, the like metal frame for the vent to go through is a little too snug. So Tyler has the grinder and he's gonna get to work on trying to take a little bit of it off. God, this has been a very, very difficult install, but fingers crossed this works. Try that. We're, we're hoping we can make this work. Perfect. If not, I'm keeping grinding. That's yeah. right. <laughs> yeah, you fine. guys had a wicked idea with that. You're right. That uh, yeah. that blade works good. Yeah. Well, we gained it on the bottom, guys. Yeah, we and really did. So it does he, work. If he turned it slightly, like pushed in the side towards uh, the as door, he as he's screwing it in, it actually did take away a little bit on that side. Oh yeah. Yeah. Nice. So it's just that bottom lip. You think? Do you want me? I can take yeah. a little bit more off. Back of this is almost butted right up to that collar. Yeah, I gotta trim some of that off. So note to self, it would have been much easier to install a full-fledged furnace. We thought we were taking a shortcut by doing this, but no. Way, way too many hours later, we finally have the direct vent propane heater installed. It, no joke, took the four of us an entire day to just do this one and the one upstairs, but I'm feeling really good about how great it looks. Just look at this. So right now it is in galvanized metal. It's not gonna stay that way forever though. We're gonna do a heat resistant black powder coated paint that's gonna perfectly match the container home. So when you're coming down the walkway here, you're not seeing that eyesore right there. Like it's, it, I just think it'll look better in the long run. We do have one last step though in order to get heat into the house and that's to fill these tanks. You may hear that beeping coming down the driveway. They're just getting here right now. Let's do it. Didn't think it would go that quickly. And yeah, that's the baker. You're full, full. You got lots. Nice. Nice. Just means a bigger bill. Yeah. Now you won't need any for two years. Cool. Awesome. Thank you. Wow, that is a tough pill to swallow. So the bill for the propane tank, 1,700 liters at $1.29 a liter. It was like 2,200 bucks. Very, very expensive. So we're hoping that this is going to last us at least two years. They said it should last us a very long time. Yeah, for our usage. So, if not, we'll be having more big <laughs> They did um, suggest, though, that we not put any more wood in the fire and actually let the space heat up just using the propane, which makes sense. Um, the guys were saying, like, we'll see, I guess, if this is big enough for the uh, like the full space. I think it will be because we're so insulated. Yeah. But time I, will come. I mean, we're also not fully insulated either, so it'll only get better as we add more. So apparently all you do is just like click this. Well, that was anticlimactic. Maybe because it's the first time. Do you have to push the button? Maybe you try. Alex. <laughs> if this is not working, oh. we'll be back. Set the thermostat to the lowest setting. Open control access panel. Push in control knob all the way and hold in. The blue flame, do you see it? Look. <laughs> wow. The pilot light is on and it's spitting out heat, which is really exciting. I'm actually shocked how fast it's working. Like I thought oh, it would yeah. take a while to like get hot and start doing it, kind of like a wood stove, but instant. It's instant heat. I mean, the building is still cold, obviously. Yeah. 
Yeah, the building. Weird. So it sounds very weird. Our house. Our house. Our home. <laughs> so we're gonna let it heat up for a bit in here, and yeah, we'll catch up with you guys in a bit. We're just gonna go hang out with the boys and squirrel, and let our home warm up. So it's been a few hours, and we brought everyone over, squirrel included. It's her first time. She's loving it. She's actually just like playing yeah. in the kitchen. It's <laughs> look at her back there. Todd's doing a little sweep because it's gotten a little dusty in here. A little dirty. <laughs> it feels incredibly relieving. Like obviously we're in t-shirts. Depending on where you're watching this from, it's probably like hard to fully understand, but like we're so up north and having this, especially like in December and so close to Christmas, like it's, it's so important. Well, it's eat. really, it's such a game changer because every time, like sure we had the wood stove and we'd come over and light it, but we lose that heat. So yeah. every morning we were starting back at scratch trying to heat the house. And it takes now, hours and hours. It feels yeah. kind of weird sitting in front of the fire and it not even being lit, but we don't need to light it tonight, which is just, anyway, it's, it's a just really a good feeling. gathering place. Yeah. This is why it was worth it. Yeah. It's, it's, we've been having like a lot of reflections lately. I think it's like that time of year where y you tend to do more of that, but it's, we're, it's hard to put into words, but we just feel so incredibly grateful for everything that we've been able to accomplish so far this year. This time last year, we didn't even have a subfloor in the dome. Yeah, it's, isn't that wild? And the foundation for this was just going in. Yeah, it's sometimes when you're so in it, it's it's difficult to like take a step back and I guess have like gratitude of how far you've come. And we've definitely not been able to like have the time to do that lately and over the next few weeks it's really important we recharge and yeah yeah so we're we actually it. going to be taking the next couple of weeks off we'll be coming back with a brand new video on January 15th 2023 which sounds so weird to say yeah. um but yeah we're just really excited to take some time to reconnect as a couple spend some time with family and loved ones that we really haven't been able to see these past few months and past year so yeah it's it's gonna be really good and while we're not gonna be posting new videos on YouTube if you don't already know we post two videos a week one on YouTube and one on Patreon as well as doing live videos. I got no pumpkins. I got, cause we planted it in July. Yeah. That's yeah, there's that. So if you haven't checked out our Patreon, make sure you click the link in the description box down below. I do want to just warn people, I edit the Patreon video, so don't be <laughs> It's a time. <laughs> do you know what is annoying? You constantly change your mind midway through a project. I don't change my you mind. You do. Blame them. I'm blaming you. It's not me. So if they started telling you to take up smoking a pack a day, are you gonna? No, but when they point out, oh, have you considered the fact that you're gonna freeze your ass off in the winter? Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize the RV was so warm shitting in. Well. A poopsicle is a poopsicle if you're using an outhouse. Yeah, but it is pretty rough. Oh my God. You're becoming too city for me. I think we should see other people. Yeah, the simple, the simple pleasures in life of not freezing your f***ing balls off. Anyway, we are just gonna enjoy this heat, and you know what, I'm gonna go find Squirrel again. I don't know where she is. It's She's right there. Hey, Squirrel! Hey, Squirrel! She's the prettiest squirrel in all the land. <laughs> thank you so much for being a part of our 2022. It truly means the world, and... Thank yeah. you for just inviting us into your home every Sunday as well. I know sometimes we can be a little bit much, um, but yeah, we just truly love all of you, and we appreciate all of you, and we wish you and your loved ones and your furry ones all the best in 2023 and a very very happy holidays love you all and we'll see you soon ho 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 <laughs> what do you think of it <laughs>